Hello and welcome back to the Fire Fairy channel. This is episode four. Um, this episode, uh, I'm now in season three. So we're gonna do some sales, uh, whether I like it or not. Some horses are gonna be sold, however good they turn out to be or not, or turn out not to be. They have to be sold. I'm running low on money. Uh, this is a business. And these are the top horses. 12 of 13. What's this one? Sussex Stakes at Goodwood. Queen Anne Stakes. Champions Mile at Chartin. God, this horse has done well. Look at some of these races it's done. God, oh, there's a miler had one bad race there 2032 as it is it's had an amazing season 17 group ones this will be a fantastic horse next year it will get even better you're looking at a possible derby winner here if they can just get the uh, rating 137 amazing horse Willow Bridge Elise Sea Fellows, absolutely amazing, truly superb. Um, we're just going into my stables now. So two more horses have come through, a, a mile and a mile one. Kurtira Mardi, looks quite good there. Poor stamina, but it's a two year old, so five or six furlongs, no problem but not much going on there. We'll probably sell it. It's a filly though, so I might breed off it. Let's have a look at the lineage. Once upon a time was the sire. Uh, and Horde Dyer Weesht Ollie. What a mouthful. This is the one I'm hoping something from. Not great speed. Would want better flat out speed, but stamina as a two year old colt. This is going straight in at a mile. Look at that. That's amazing for a two year old to have that stamina. Is that right? I don't know. Going surface adaptability will run over all conditions. Good consistency, poor finish, low enthusiasm, extra speed, cruising berth, confidence, constitution, potential rating. That, I'm really impressed with that as a one year old. Let's look at the stamina compared. This has got good speed, but appalling stamina. Whereas this horse, the stamina is off the charts. So already as a one-year-old, you could run it in a two, is it, am I getting that right? You could run it in a two mile race. I wonder what that will look like next year. I don't know. But anyway, that's to me, that's really interesting. Both got Group 1 indicators, both a mile. I'm very interested in that first horse as a colt. Right, these are horses for sale. Can't do anything about them this time round. So now the horses have come out of the field. They're here, they're in my um, stable. I've got to now decide what to do with them. So this horse has appalling stamina, okay speed, fitness that will change, potential that will change. It's not looking good. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna sell this horse. I just wanna check the lineage. This was an Earth fan. So I didn't get what I thought I might out of this horse. So not quite sure, it was cheap to breed, but Short full sabre is going to auction. So, Auden Ajwad, two year old. 
five furlong indicator, appalling stamina, speed at that kind of, if you're going to consider this 100, 25, 50, 75, 100, it's at around the 75 mark, as is the acceleration. I come into here, it's got a little something. There's a little something there. Extra speed, enthusiasm, consistency, distance adaptability, going surface adaptability. There's a little something there, so that's going to get run. Sorry, cool. This is a horse I put out last year, five furlong. It's got fairly good speed. Start is okay. Acceleration is good. Fitness okay. But it's not going to amount to much. This horse is going to be sold as an unraced three year old. So that one's going in as well. So, next one. This ran a race last year, was thoroughly, thoroughly outclassed by the field. Its speed has got a bit better, its accelerations matched it. Start is not so good. Going here, and there's a little bit something extra this year. The potential has gone up slightly. The finish application, which is always nice. Cruising burst. So there's a little something there. So this horse is going to get tried out. It's going to go into a maiden. So first of all, I'm going to skip to see if my horses actually make any money. They've sold. Let's go and have a look and see what the sale was. So sorry, call didn't make any money. It didn't make any money. That's ridiculously cheap. That I definitely spent more than that on it. If I were to go back, I probably spent about 300,000 on that horse. So I've lost out there. But Shortfall Sabre, which cost me about 20,000 to breed, maybe top end 30,000, has netted me nearly 400,000. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and look at the breeding. So, this five-year-old, probably not much cop. The horse is that it has bred. Well, saying that, one of them, is that the one I just sold? Bought from Fire Fairy. So, that's the one I just sold for 400,000. So this one here is the one that it's currently in there. So it's made me a couple of quid, I won't lie. So the other one, Miss Begotten Shark, if we look at its offspring, is the one I'm going to run in a bit. And this one here is the one with the amazing stamina. So Miss Begotten Shalak has made two fairly good horses thus far. So, I'm going to keep these two. I'm going to look for a longer progeny distances. So some of these haven't had uh, haven't had anything come out yet. So this is their first year. So I suppose I need to look at that then. That's interesting. I need to think about that. I like. I prefer to breed off tried and tested h horses. To be honest with you, so Barmian Bounty, a twelve-year-old at Grade Two, has got some very good stuff. He's got no Group winners. Average earning index is pretty poor. This one has had a couple of Group winners. It's a sixteen-year-old. How many offspring has it had? It's had a lot of offspring and not a lot of them have managed to do anything. So, no, although it's a long distance jobby. So what have we got here? Changing the guard. 
I'm liking these French horses, I must say. Right. Um, this Irish horse here, Mesmar, has got hovering around the one mark. That's at 1.25 earnings index. So the cost of that to that to the average earnings is greater than Mesmar's and has had less group wins. So as an earning potential, a horse that might be able to do a good job in the future, Ben Ryan is probably a better breed. But stakes winners, Mesmar blows the water out of that one. 45k, it's not too bad. Tara Stud, Ireland, I'm torn a little bit. I might breed both. So I'll breed Ben Ryan with, I'll breed Ben Ryan with Misbegotten Shellac. So click there, confirm, and I'll breed um, Massey Diamonds with Mesmar. Yeah, that's Tara Stud. So confirm, and that's my breeding done for the year. So we'll see how we get along there. I'll go back to my racing stable. I should click off this. So these are my two horses. I'm looking at a three-year-old filly. This horse needs five furlongs. It needs five furlongs and it can only run five furlongs. So enter races. I'm looking at five furlongs. And I'm looking at a maiden. Aiden Roast, just want to go back and see what it's after. It's after a dirt track. So, five furlong, Maiden Roast. And it's looking at a dirt track. It's now, what is the, it's the 19th of Jan. So they, these are too early for it, these. The, let's have a look. This one here in Lingfield at five furlong, Maiden, three years and over. I'm looking at that, or maybe this one here in Newcastle. More money, less horses. I think I'm happy with that one. So we're gonna enter that one. Hopefully uh, my jockey can race in that race. I don't know where the hell my jockey is. Is it the toy? Let's see how good the Tory is. No, I don't want the Tory riding it. I wanna have a look at the Tory. Oh, it doesn't let me, anyway. I'm not going to book the jockey. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that one. This horse, as a two-year-old, can only run five furlongs. So we're looking for a maiden for this one as well. Not as hopeful for this horse. I think it won't be ready till next year, but we're going to give it a crack anyway. So let's have a look. Maiden races, five furlongs. Didn't have a look to see what ground it liked. It likes softer ground as well. So it's got to be a dirt track. It's the 11th. Maiden races, this is only one. Why is there only one? Because it's a two year old. Of course it is. So this horse might not get run this year as a two year old sprinter. Enter races, race distance, furlongs, Maiden races and then click on that one and there's literally only one. Am I gonna spend the money for it to run all the way up there? The chances are no. What's the decoration date? It only goes up to 16th of Feb. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for that one. But we've got a race on the 31st of Jan. So let's see. And it's a horse I'm hoping more than sure. I think would be fair to say. Uh, yeah, hoping more than expecting. So just want to double check what the head loud has got to say. Horses raring to go. This 
had Sir Winston. This was a horse I bought myself. I can't remember how much I paid for it. So I, I spent s about 60 grand on this horse. About 60,000. So, you know, win some, lose some. It's a sprinter, three-year-old girl. Could be a future breeder, because I like some of the stats. Let's go, let's go to race. Right, so, I can't even say what it's called, I might just call it m and um, A walkover, no better. Well, he's only had one horse. So, no better. Right, 33 to one again. This is Makila May Marmea. Makila Marmea, right. Let's have a look at, no, next race card, tipsters, Finley Manny, I think probably, let's have a look. Very calm, very fit and primed to go. Who's the jockey? Cosgrove, no idea why. Why is my, why is my, Well, that noise you heard there was my phone. Uh, probably, I wonder if I get demonetized for that, but basically, um, Spoon Man by Soundgarden. <laughs> you probably heard it. Uh, I'll leave it in there because I'm like that. I just want to have a look at the betting. Uh, we, we've, well, F Fennel Affair has come out at 66. We, we've got no betting on us at all. Nobody fancies us to do this at all. The cost of the horse, the breeding of the horse, it's just not liked at all. I would, let me just check these horses. Oh, so I can't bet on my own. I can bet on my own. That's interesting. I'm going to put an each way of, put my money where my mouth is thousand stake so there you go so I've, I've bet on that there we go let's see what happens here let's go to the race watch the race at the race course okay so I'm hopeful. I've got an each way bet on my horse. Put my money where my mouth is. 33 to 1. Each way bet. Let's have a look. And we're off. And we're off. Didn't have a great break. It's not doing very well already. Five, what the Mr. hell Mike. is that little thing there? Is that just to the notice my horse? Oh, right. Number two is the narrow leader from number one. So. Number five is last. Oh my god, really hated. Look at him back here. Well, he's coming up now. So I think for a short field, I need to come first or second. I think I need to come first or second, and we're not really doing that. So we need to go. We need to go. We're going up the hill. We're nowhere to be seen. Where are we? Well, he's pulled up Thunderstorm Arch. Oh my God, we're all the way back. Where are we? Oh my God. This hill was no good for him. Right, so proving to be an absolute nag. Proving that there is no value. I mean, Finley Marnie just absolutely fantastic horse. I'd like to see it really. Look at the form book. Let's see what the breeding is. Just group twos. There's nothing really there to suggest it's as good as they make out. I mean, what's a third, a ten? So it ran it a couple of times last year and they got a third, a ten, and a five. So I got a four there. Uh, restrained early, which possibly got the distance well. We could never get into the race. 
Yeah, but why? Why couldn't you get into the race? Is it because you're a crap horse? Well, we have to find out. We have to find out. So, skip today's racing. I need to find out the measure of this horse. Got the distance okay. Is it the speed? Is it the cruising burst? Confidence? What is it? Is it looking a bit jaded? Uh, the horse look jaded requires more time for racing. Well, yeah. So just going to look at the. So it's condition that green bar when it drops below the red bar it means it's not able to race so I can book it in for a race but and then I need to check that bar before I get back I look that up so 420 pound prize money for coming third I lost my grand but I got 420 back so interesting All right let's look for another five um, five, and we're looking for maidens. This horse keeps forgetting softer ground, so it wants a dirt track. There's one at Lingfield on the 5th of Feb. Too soon, too soon. Southwell. Oh, that one's all about in Australia and turf. Chelmsford. Chelmsford. We've not ridden there before. I think it's a downhill track, that one. Uh, fairly good price money for a race like this. Are there any novices that look promising? There's one. Not many runners. There is a late cut off penalty of 400. It's on the 10, 10 days, can't really risk it. Kempton. What have we got in here? We'd still be. Uh, some winners in there. Look. Some winners in there, so we've got to go back to Maiden. There's the decoration cut off. 11, 7, South Wall. South Wall. What have we got in here? There's all sorts in here that have failed to win a race. We'd be well down the pecking order. What about this one? Even worse, there's some second places in there. I think we're going to go this one. And we're going to enter the horse. And we're going to see how we're going to get on there. I'd like to know where my bloody jockey is. I really would. I've got a, jo I've got a jockey. If we go to jockeys, and I go to apprentices, it says here I've got Elliot. Auto book retainer for horses on entry if possible. Oh, should I have done that then? Auto book retainer for horses on entry if possible. All right, that's what I had it turned off. Right, let's have a look now and see if my horse has actually got the right person running. Uh, ferry doesn't say the job me is, does it? This is the 205. What does it say about my horse? It says there's the sire. There's its prize money. Hasn't got a hasn't got anything for him yet. Behind behind halfway, never a factor east. Settled early, rear halfway, never competitive. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit of a dog this horse. It's got something about it though, it's so frustrating. I see something about this horse. Um Maybe just these two here aren't big enough. The extra speed rating just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just can't get up there. What are we on now? First of Feb. We'll skip to next. And then I'll have a look for the other one. Auden. 
to WAP on the day of this race because it's a two-year-old it can it can struggle to find a five furlong maybe one later in the season i'd imagine just want to check my breeding they're in, in foal now so possibly two more horses gonna buy another female this one here might end up going to the breeding barn if i can't get anything out of her um let's have a look what are we on? Skip to next. 25th of Feb. Ooh, I just... I don't know. I just... I look at it and I think it should be doing better. But those top two bars, maybe I need to be expecting more from those. Let's go. Let's go. Skip. Maybe... So he's... Once again, there's a... That horse coming from favourite, the 66 to 1. That went from 40 to 1 to 9 to 4. What's going on here? Well, the stick ends at 33, is there? That's crazy. Well, that you can't bet against that, really. Absolutely, uh, almost. It'd be amazing if that horse doesn't win. Tetravella. If it's like a proper, let's have a look at the rating. Sixty-three. It's had a two. A, a, this season, it's already had a two. Right. So we go to the race. I can't even say the name of this horse. I have to read it out carefully. Let's try it again, shall we? Let's, <laughs> it's called... <clears throat> ready for it? It is called Makila Mamea. And it's got Elliot on board now, thank God. Well done, Elliot. Right. Does, this, does that make a difference? I don't know. And on. Right. Not a terrible break, but... We've gone to the back, we're boxed yeah, in. He's looking for a way through here, actually, interestingly enough. Number six. Uh, I, oh, he's boxed in. Look, he's held up. He's held up, he's holding the reins. Go early, go on. Go on, go early. I'm asking you to go, go. Go. Come on. It takes a while for him to get out of the cruising speed, but he's not doing anything. It's a nag. It's official. I've got my top bloke on it, and it is an absolute, two, absolute nag. Uh, I shouldn't even breed with it, really, looking at this. I mean, look at this. Absolute nightmare. What a shocking horse. A three-year-old. Yeah, that is... That is probably going to sell that, I think. Just recruit back something for it. And, sorry, but we had no chance out there. Yeah, you're just not a very good horse. You're just not a very good horse. And I've got to flog you. I've got to flog you. Look at all these claiming races they must have had there. Bloody hell. Quit the auctions. Yeah, it's, it's got to go. It's got to go. Uh, yeah. Um, I want to flog it. There we go. No reserve. Just get it out of my sight. So let's see if I can actually... Uh, what are we on here? Let's see if I can find a class for that horse. Let's go that and that we've got anything there's five it says here I'm looking for softer ground softer ground what we got we've got Doncaster we've got Southwall Chelmsford and two in Newcastle on the same day let's have a look at this one Bridgewater this one nothing this one so these are all, these are all 
first race is always tough. There are some good ones in that one. Right, which is the one with the biggest prize money? The two o'clock, 14 horses. I think we're going to run at 2.35. So we're going to enter the horse. Uh, Elliot, good on you, boy. Good on you, boy. He's had, he's had group wins. One group win, one group one. He's had 40... 40 wins from 40 from 100 with five winners from 56 rides. Nothing spectacular is so he's 10 percent last year. Well, we're gonna try and get him up really in his career. What's he has recently? He has group twos. I don't know. Right. Yeah, so that's us. We're going in. We'll see what we do sale-wise. If he disappears, that horse has disappeared. I want to see what it went for. It went for... Look at that. Look at that. 1,039 quid. My God. I've never seen a horse so cheap. Hey. I wonder what they're going to do with it. What, was, what sale was that? That was a... What is what is light brick? It went in a breeder's sale. Is that right? Oh, it went in a post-race sale. Post-race sale. It's interesting. So if you try and sell it straight after a race, that's what they do. It came stone last, so that's why I only got 1,039. So I need to learn my lesson from that. Uh, what's this newsreel? Today's news. Odd trend injured. Don't need that. Right. Skip to next 1st of April. 1st of April. I'm, I'm less hopeful for this horse than I was for the other one, I'll be honest with you. This could be a nightmare. <laughs> It could be that I'm going to have to buy another breeding mare. I'm just going to spend all my time breeding horses until I find, till I manage to stumble across a few that I pick out myself, so to speak. Um, well, we've got more money than I before, and I suppose that's something. Let's, what are we on now? 24th of March. I'm hoping we can... Uh, we can get something going there. Right, just before we go in on the first, I just want to have one more look at this. This is a five furlong group one two-year-old. So the moment I race this horse, it's either going to be, it's going to drop in price dramatically. It's got good speed, good acceleration. It's starting isn't so good. It's got lower than what I'd like potential. Constitution's good, confidence not so good, extra speed not so good, enthusiasm and finish application, meh, cruising speed, confidence. What we're looking at here is the fact that it has got quite good breeding. This horse is not from crap stock. So, it's not the best stock in the world, but it's not terrible. So this horse should do better. It's got a good jockey on board, it's got you know, it's got everything it's supposed to have. Auden Ajward. Auden Ajward. Right, Auden Ajward. Let's have a look at your betting. Your 33s still from 28. Right, we've got in at 25. So there's some people betting on us. 25, 25. Came in a little bit. But some of these other horses are much more fancy. Elliot on board, we've not run before, so some of these horses come in the second time. Uh, what's that there? Last one and race. Horse going away in the air, right. I wonder what that is, 80%. Right. Um, I'm, oh, I don't know. I'm less hopeful for this one than I was the last one, so we'll, uh, we'll see. Likes the soft ground. 
get even softer if uh, that rain comes down. Done that. Oh, I just want to have a little bit of. Yeah, so Elliot's on board. This is my top bloke. Number four. Here we are. He had a good break. Let's see what you can do, eh? So we're on our way. He's. I don't know. It's a five yeah, furlong, so you've got to, you've got to have something about you almost drive. from the, the three furlong marker, really. So if I click early, he should try to give me something here. He's completely yeah, outclassed. Is he going six. to the back? What's Number he doing? He's trying. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying. We're on the second furlong now. He's moving up a bit. He's moving up a bit. Let's have a look. What have we got here? We're going to the front. This is this is good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. But one furlong. We just gotta hold on, boys. What a run. What a run. For a two year old at five furlong. I can't believe it. What a run! Wow! Maiden, a two-year-old, at, at a sprint, 25 to 1. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with that. Absolutely fantastic. The stranger, that's a fine horse. So maybe go for the really big money next time. What? It's telling me already. That this horse is that good. It can go somewhere. It skips today's racing. So, it's first time out as a two year old and it's won a race. Five furlong, group one. Let me look at this again. Miss Begotten Shallot, whatever next. Boys for Rig and Resplendent Alpha. There's something in the breeding for this horse. And I'm very, very pleased. Very pleased. Right, so it's, it's basically told me get, get, get him in a bigger race. Get it in a bigger race. Well, we're going to go novice next. I don't want to, I just want to check it's. Uh, so that's dropped just below its condition. So we need to get the condition up. A bit head lad a little jaded so it's got a month i can't run it that much probably about to run it at a sprinter probably two or three more times not a lot really not a lot let's have a look at five furlongs soft ground not a maiden maybe a novice let's have a look nottingham Heavy rain forecast. He's too close, really. Where's the cut off? There it is. Uh, there's nothing abroad. Newbury. Nine, novice, eight. Kempton, five horses. Let's get its confidence up. I think you're about to do that second Kempton race for so five past four. Don't have any weather yet for that. But I'm guessing cloudy maybe. Epsom. Do I want to put it in at Epsom? Not really. Newcastle, that's the local course for us. Lingfield. Wow. Later on in the year, what else have we got? Have we got any feature races? Let's have a, let's have a look and see if there's any feature races. There's nine feature races. Eighteen horses running in that. Sixteen running in that one. I don't sprint with sixteen horses now. The Navan Sprint Stakes. Let's just see what sort of horses we've got running in this. we got power runners in there. We'd be a raider. We would be a raider. We'd be bottom weight. And it would be all about whether or not the horse could travel and the horse would want to go on the turf. This horse wants dirt. It's adaptability, is that what it's called? 
distance adaptability. The more adaptable the horse, the more likely to perform in a wider race of distances. Now I'm looking for whatever the track is. Training adaption. The horse more adaptable will go on special training. We'll learn quicker. Uh, there's nothing about. There's nothing about the track. I thought that that was the track. Going surface. There it is. More adaptable, more likely horse to perform a wider range race of going conditions. It's not great, but it might be enough. What are you doing? Why is it saying nothing now? Why is it saying nothing? It's saying there's nothing there now. Why has it, why has it done that? Go here. Oh, third one. We're going in a novice. We're going in a novice. We're going after the declaration penalty. And we're going to go into, what are we on now? A second? It needs a couple of weeks. And then we'll find it a feature race later on in the season. We're going to go in this one here. And we're going to enter the horse into there. And Elliot's riding this one again, so I'm very happy with that. I think that means... No, oh, it's just a data for the horse. Right, no problem. I'm very happy. Let's see what we can do with this next one. I haven't got a rating yet because it was a maiden. Well, I should get a rating out of it, actually. What am I talking about? It won, a, it won a maiden, so it should get a rating for that. I don't know why it hasn't got a rating. Um, pass. <laughs> so I'll check the day. I'll check the day before, but I don't want to. I will pull the horse out if it ain't ready. If it can't run out, I'll pull the horse out. I'll take. I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the hit. No problem. Right. Just that. horse is wet, ready, fit, ready to go. The lines back up the top. Fantastic. Uh, skip to the next one and go let's see how good this horse really is look at that for a track what the hell 29 runners what race is that Doncaster group one handicap Australians and all sorts in there what's some prize money 1.4 million class one group one handicap the Randwick that's Australia isn't it that's a monstrous uh Thing. It's a feature race, but my god. Alright, skip. <laughs> Wouldn't run in that one. It's a big bloody field, uh, a bit unrealistic. Uh, right. Where's my bad boy? Where's he? Where's Eminem? Oh no, this is Auden, isn't it? Auden, well, fancies me for this. Oh, it's because I've won a maiden and now I'm going in a novice and none of these have even gone in a maiden. So I fancy my chances. Four to one. Four to one. Right, two. Five to one. That'll do us. Right. Watch the race on the race course. Let's see how we do. Let's see. And after this one, we're going to go into a feature later on in the season, I think. This could be my first half decent horse, this Auden Ajouard. It's funny because it wasn't the horse I fancied out of my lot. So we're in the middle of the pack here. And, and let's have a look. Bit of an unknown, don't know anything about the horses. I'm hoping that the idea of consistency and enthusiasm play into this somehow. Right if we get the three and he ain't doing much I'm clicking the early again because that yeah we go come on in boy we're round on the outside how many we got left there it's doing all right the number six has pulled away nicely here. look oh but look at my horse I'm so impressed with it look at it it's got that je ne sais quoi, that little bit of something about it. Can it hold off the other horse? It's an amazingly quick run from the back. 
Look at this. What's that? Two lengths? Three lengths? We're pulling out four lengths? I'd love to know where. I'd love to know how many. And we were 40 miles an hour at the end there. That's four four miles an hour more than you'd expect. I mean, what a fantastic horse. I want to look at the form book. What did we do that by? Three and three quarter lengths. We were the top weight, nine five. And it did that. That is absolutely superb. Let's see what the jockey says. Restrained early, lovely horse. Wouldn't mind riding this one next time. This trip was ideal. So it's a five furlong horse. We knew that. We knew it was a five furlong horse. Right, I'm going to leave you there, guys. I've got two winners from Auden Jouard. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick it. I think I'm probably going to stick it in a feature race next time. The potential's maxing out there. Maturity rate is uh, very high. I'm very hopeful for this horse. Uh, did I not have a look and see what it's uh, condition bar? And that needs to go back out. But um, I'm export this horse to disc. No, I don't think so. Right, it's one. It's maiden. It's one. It's novice. Very good. Uh, I'm going to leave you there, ladies and gentlemen. I think, so far, this this has been the best horse I've had, and I've bred it myself, so I'm even more chuffed. That was Miss Begotten Shellac with that French horse, which had done, which was very cheap. I think it was about 30000 it cost me. And this horse uh, won a couple of races itself, big races, and its offspring have done very well. Carib Girl, I remember. So 9.9 .9 million, and that will keep going up because I've got one of its sires. So I'm very, uh, and I will definitely breed this, definitely breed this. But with, I'll keep that in house. I'll breed it with my own, my own mares. I think I don't think I'll have that being bred elsewhere. Depends how it does. Let's see how it does. It's going to go into a feature race next, and then it's going to start going into class races it's only a two-year-old i'd expect this horse to get better next year uh i'm very pleased with it what a good horse what a good horse rating 95 wow anyway thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one